Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and we're going to make a little, I guess you could call it hostess gift, or you could give it to your mail care, you know, you can give it to a lot of different people. It could be a good stocking stuffer. It's a little gift, bo gift book box. We made one similar to this last year, but uh, I need another one for this year, so we're going to make it for the, all of those who didn't see that last year. So you're going to need a piece of paper that is 12 inches by 8 inches. And on the 12 inch side, you're going to score at 1 quarter inch. At 4 and 7 eighths. At 7 and 1 eighth. And at 11 and 3 quarters. So that is 1 quarter. 4 and 7 eighths, 7 and 1 eighth, 11 and 3 quarters. And then you're going to turn it just one turn. And on the 8 inch side, you're going to score at 1 inch and at 7 and a half. Okay, we're going to lay this piece aside for just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and do all my scoring before I move my scoreboard. Now you're going to need two pieces that are six inches by seven inches and on the seven inch side you're going to score at one half inch at three at four and at six and a half then you're going to turn it one turn and you're going to score at one and at five okay and you're going to do both pieces the same way. So one half inch, three inches, four, and six and one half. Turn one turn and do one inch and five inches. Okay, so that is our scoring done. We can put our scoreboard away. Now we're going to go back to this big piece. This is going to be our book box. We're going to go ahead and do all of our folding. Now in this center part right here, you're going to cut up on these score lines. And this is the one that's the one inch. So just cut up to that first score line that goes across. And then go ahead and wedge out And then also on this part, you need to wedge out. I'll take a pretty good wedge out of that. So on both sides. And then these little squares here you don't need. And you need to go ahead and wedge out there as well. So I'll show you about what I cut off. So it is about that much. Okay, and then you're going to do the same thing on this end. And then up at the top where you've got that half inch, you want to cut off those little corners. So just like that. And then you want to cut up on these little center marks. And then wedge out, just like we did on the bottom. And I'm going to wedge out on that one too. And then cut this one out. Okay, so you're going to have something that looks about like that. So I'll hold that there for a minute in case you want to do a screenshot. Right now on these ends right here where it's the one quarter inch, we're going to glue those down. Because you know me, I don't like raw edges. So we're going to glue those down. And I'm going to use my one eighth inch score tape. You can use a liquid glue here if you want, but I'm just 
I'm going to use my score tape because I know it's going to hold. And our little everything tool. And then put, glue that down. Do the other end the same way. And glue that down. That takes care of your raw edges. Now on this top portion right here, you're going to do the same thing. This one is the larger one. This one's the one inch and this is the half inch. On the half inch, do the same thing. You're going to glue that down. And then this part you're going to glue up. So go ahead and put some glue or adhesive there. This little piece right here you don't need, but it's good to leave it on there because it helps strengthen that center part. So just press that up. And then these you're going to going to glue down just like that. And see what a nice corner that gives you. And I'm going to go ahead and make those edges a little bit prettier. Alright, so now you've got that. Leave these. Don't fold those up. Those are the two flaps that you're going to need later when you put everything else together. So we can lay that piece aside for just a minute and then we're going to work on these. This is our little boxes for the inside. So go ahead and do your folding. Go ahead and fold it and burnish all your score lines. So do that. And then we will put the rest of this together. It comes together really quick. And it's a really pretty present. Alright, once you have everything burnished, what you're going to do is on these center marks right here, the center score lines, you're going to cut up on those and then notch out. like that. So do that on both sides. Alright, and then all of these little squares right here on your corners, you're going to cut those off don't need those, just cut those out. Now these two pieces right here, this one half inch and this one half inch, you're going to fold down. So put your adhesive on each one of those. Here again, this keeps it from having a raw edge. And then fold that down. And fold that one down. So that's what you have now. So push this little flap to the inside and then just put these together, making sure that your edges meet, and then glue that down. And I'm going to use my art glitter glue on here. And 
then I just take my bone folder on the inside and press that down. And then that little flap that's on the inside there, if you'll just put a little bit of glue under that, then you can use your bone folder and just press that down. And that gives you a nice edge on the side. Now when you go to the other side, make sure that you fold the flaps the same way. So this is the flap that I folded on top, so make sure that you fold that same flap on top so that this can be the front of your little box. So there is your little container made, and then you're going to do the other one the exact same way. And once you get the little boxes made, you're ready to glue them down, and they're going to glue down right at the score line, and then right in the center from the score line here to the outside. So I'm going to use score tape on mine because it holds a lot better and put your front part where you folded these back where it's got that the not the raw edge put the raw edge to the back so there's your raw edge put that to the back and just pull the backing off of your score tape And just center it up and right at that fold at the bottom. And then you can go in with your bone folder and press that down. So you see where I put it right at that fold, that score line there, and then I just centered it up between this score line and the outside. Then you're going to do the other side the same way. And then these little flaps right here are going to glue up to the bottom. That just gives them a little bit more strength. So just put your glue or whatever adhesive you're using on those. And then just press them up to the bottom of the box. Okay, so there's your box so far. Now it's just a matter of decorating. Now to hold the box together, I put a magnet right here on the last one, the one that I made last year. You can do that or you can just make a belly band or something for it. It doesn't matter. Any way that you want to hold it together is fine. I think this time I might, hmm, I think I might tie mine together with some twine this year since the whole farmhouse look and everything is so popular. I might just put some twine on mine this year and not put a magnet on it. Uh, so just decorate it any way that you want. I'm going to use some of the Winter Wonderland, the 8x8 paper pad, to do some decorating. And But you can use whatever type decorations you want on it. It's basically made now, so it's just ready to do some decorating. Let's see. Make sure that we put our birds the right way. There we go. I think I'm going to put that up there. And then I cut a piece. Let's see. I cut a piece for the center right here. That is a little bit long, I think. I may have to cut that off. Yeah, I'm going to cut it off a little bit. Probably about a half an inch. So 
so this piece is two inches by five and three quarters and that can go right there that and then if you want mats on these you can put mats on those they are four inches by two and a half last year I put let's see what did I put last year first let's do the front. I think we'll do the front first and then come back to the inside. So I'm going to lay it this way. I'm going to put this on the front that's got Winter Wonderland on it. And this piece is cut at four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Alright, there you go on that one. And then, let's see. This piece goes right here on the spine and I cut this at two by six and a quarter this piece for the back and it's cut the same size as the front is it's cut at four and a quarter by six and a quarter and hmm, I might actually use that side kind of matches better We'll go back to the inside and we'll put this down and again this is cut at two inches by five and three quarters I am going to put these right here under that. I'm going to mark a spot that I'm going to cut that off. And these are just some cutouts. These actually are from last year's collection. These are just some cutouts from this year that I'm probably going to put on here. I think I'm just going to center those and put those right there and then put these down here. Cute. We're going to make a little, um, I guess you could call it cascading mini album to go right here on this side that will slide down in that pocket and then we're going to put some other goodies on this side. So this piece is cut at nine and three quarters by three and then I have scored it at four and three quarters and five so score it four and three quarters and five and that gives you that little bit on the top there for your fold over now to make your little cascading part these are cut at two and three quarters by two and three quarters and then I have scored on it doesn't matter which side because they're identical score one quarter inch And then fold that over. All right, and these are going to go down with this little flap. You're going to start right at the top and put that down just like that. So just put score tape on all your little flaps. Okay, so we have eight of these little pieces that are cut at the two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And then the ones we scored at one quarter inch, put our score tape 
on the flap that way on the back side here and then you're going to start right at that score line and then just kind of center it up like that and then the next one you're going to put you're going to raise that up and you're going to butt this one right up against where that score line was or where that ended you're going to put that one right up against it. And yes, I do have paint on my hands again. I've been painting Christmas presents. And just keep on doing that all the way down until you get all of your little pieces in place. So you have all of your little pieces glued down. So that's how they will look. And then you can go ahead and mat these if you want. So your mats are going to be cut at two and a quarter by two and a half. You're going to put those down right in the center of that. And I just made mine to where I could alternate. I think I'm going to use that one on top. Okay, and then just, and I'm just going to put mats on the top side of mine. I'm not going to put mats on the back, but you could certainly put them on the back if you wanted to. I'm just going to put them on the top. This is, we have all, all of our little photo pieces matted. And then I'm going to put this little piece right here on the inside of that. And this was either cut out of this year's Winter Wonderland collection or last year's uh, Graphy 45 co Christmas collection. I'm not sure which. I think this might have been last year's. So put that right there. And then for the outside, I think we're going to put this little girl just says let it snow. And we're going to put that on the outside. For that to be our cover. Now we're going to use this little piece right here as a little belly band to go across this to kind of hold these down. And I'm going to glue it right up there at the top. Glue it down right there. And then just since I have a thousand little Velcro dots, I'm going to use a Velcro dot on this instead of a magnet. But you could use a magnet, no problem. But I have a ton of those left over from my class, so I'm just going to use those. So there you go, when you raise that up, you've got your little photo, I guess this could be little photo pages, and then you can just let it back down and it'll hold it together. So again, that is, just raise it up, you got all of those, and then you can let it back down, and it holds that, that together like that. I think that's cute. And then for the outside, I think all we're going to do on here is I'm going to put a little piece of twine. Everybody is into this twine this year, so I've just got a little piece of twine, and I, it's about 12 inches. I'm going to put this on here, tie a little bow, and let that be our closure for the outside of it. And then that will slide right down in there, and you can always put this up a little higher so that you can see it. Slide right down in there. And then to close this up, I think I may use twine too. You really don't have to put anything on it because it'll it'll almost stay close. And I'm really not sure I'm going to put anything else on this outside except maybe this little sticker. 
and I might just put it right there. It looks like a little tree with the birds in it. Um, not sure I want to put anything else on there or not. I think that's pretty just like it is. I might put a few pieces of bling, of course. We have to do that. Let's put some in the center of our flowers. And then maybe some of these little ones. We'll put a couple over here. Just to give it a little bit of color on the outside. Like that. I may put some green dots inside those flowers. We'll put a green one right there. So I think that's cute. And I am going to put some stickles on here. I like my stickles. They, um, they just make it look pretty. They just make everything shine and glitter. And I like that part. So I'm going to put some on the leaves of this poinsettia. So you see how pretty that is with that glitter on that poinsettia? It's gorgeous. I love my stickles. You guys know that. This is diamond stickles, and I'm pretty sure we have these in the store. I will double check. I try to keep them in there all the time because I use a lot of them, and a lot of people that watch our videos use these too. So, But I'll make sure that I have them in there. So I'm just putting these on all the flowers. And then I am going to go over the Winter Wonderland and put that, the stickles on that as well. I'll make that stand out a little bit more. I wanted to cut that out and pop it up, but I didn't have another piece of paper that had this on there. I've used it all up. I love this collection. And by the way, while I'm doing this, let me tell you, I have a little bit of this collection left in the store, and it's on clearance, so if you want any of it, I'm not sure exactly how much is left, but I'll put a link below so you can go over and grab some before it's all gone, because I'm sure they're going to be discontinuing this collection like they do all the rest of the Christmas but we have lots of Christmas items and other items that are on clearance. If you want to go over and check it out, I'll put that link below. Let's put a little bit of stickles on our bird, too. I'm just outlining the house to make it look like it's got lights on it. If you um, use these and outline, it almost looks like Christmas lights. I'll show you. I'll hold it up and show you. See that? Just almost looks like it's got Christmas lights on the house. And there is the winter wonderland. So there it is. That it is finished. Uh, I can put some goodies in here for the recipient. And then there's my little book. I can give this out to whomever. I can use it as a hostess gift. Sit it on the table beside the plate, the dinner plates, and give it to your guest. Or give it to your mailman, UPS man, whatever. Just mail lady, <laughs> UPS lady, whatever. Stick some goodies in there. Make it more man manly if you want to and give it to you, the men in your life. I mean, there's tons of things that you could do with this. Last year, I think I put some little bath 
uh, soaps and uh, some hand sanitizers and things like that inside here and then give them out and everybody loved them. But that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget about our clear sale. I will leave that link below. Go over and check out and get some of the items while they're on sale. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.